Hello friend, welcome to Priyanka's Home Kitchen and today I am going to show you how we can make gobi paratha or cauliflower paratha. This paratha is very famous in North India. So let's start with ingredients. For making gobi paratha here I am taking one and half cup of chapati flour. You can use whole wheat flour, yogurt, salt, ajwain seeds or cremon seeds, water, this is uh, for making uh, dough and for making paratha some uh, dry, flour, dry flour and for making uh, cauliflower uh, stuffing here I am taking cauliflower, chopped 2 green chilies, 1 teaspoon of amchur powder or mango powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin powder, salt as it is sugar as it is they taste but sugar is totally optional here i am using uh, amchur powder so yeah, i am using uh, sugar but if you don't want you can just skip it and some chopped cilantro oil enough oil for uh, frying perhaps. so at first i am going to make dough so for that here i am taking 4 teaspoon of yogurt instead of oil salt as a taste just a pinch of salt ajwain and you know this is very good for digestion and also very good for flavor so I am mixing it together my mixing is done now I am going to add uh, water for making a uh, soft dough my uh, dough is ready now I am going to leave it for at least half an hour so your paratha will be very soft and now for making a uh, filling or uh, stuffing I am going to uh, grate this cauliflower like this And your cauliflower uh, quantity uh, depends on your uh, quantity of parathas, how many paratha you want to make. So this is uh, done and now I am going to add just pinch of salt and uh, leave it for at least uh, uh, half an hour. So extra water can come out uh, from this uh, grated cauliflower. So add just pinch of salt and I am mixing it properly and now I am going to leave it for about half an hour so after half an hour now I am going to squeeze it to get the water out like this So this is done and now I am going to fry this with the spices. My pan is already heated. So now I am going to add just a little bit of oil. <coughs> then I am adding this grated cauliflower and all spices. and I am frying this just a little bit like uh, when it will come uh, just light brown color 
so it uh, turned uh, in a light uh, brown color so now this is done so my filling is ready and my dough is also after half an hour uh, my dough became very soft now i'm going to make small balls from this dough not uh, too small just like a uh, roti to like this this size so this is done and now i am going to fill them by this stopping at first i am making it like para shape para shape like this <coughs> sprinkle a little bit dry flour and rolling it and making a small puri shape roti this is ready now i'm going to put this cauliflower stuffing and now i'm going to close this all sides and i'm going to make a pokli shape like this like this now i am pressing it and then twist and taking out this extra pieces and again rolling it and now i am going to roll it for making roti sprinkle just dry flour and roll it and <coughs> i am rolling it at first uh, you have to roll it very gently otherwise you know your paratha um, can break gently and try to keep pressure in, in central so your uh, cauliflower stuffing uh, can spread evenly just like this this is ready my paratha is uh, not too thick not too thin if you make too thin your paratha sometime uh, can uh, become um, hard but you, yeah you can make too thick paratha but uh, i like this size so this is done and now i'm going to fry it. here my pan is already heated now i'm going to put it here and when uh, some air bubbles will come out from the surface that time i will flip it and apply oil so you can see the air bubbles are coming out so now i am going to flip it yes now i am applying oil you can apply ghee also but i am okay with oil and i am spreading it like this and again i am putting it and applying this side oil spreading I am trying this paratha until uh, some uh, brown spots appear from this uh, both side 
both side of paratha see nice brown spot just pressing very gently so now this is done again i am going to make second one rolling it for making a small puri this is ready now i am going to fill it close this all sides by this way you can see and now again press it and twist and take out the extra pieces okay we can then sprinkle some dry flour and rolling another one Again, when air bubbles will come out from the surface, I will keep coming out. Now I am going to flip it. and also applying oil. Again, I am flipping it and applying oil the other side. again i am frying it until the brown color will come out from this both sides of paratha see this nice brown spot came out so this is ready and now i am taking out from this pan so friends my parathas uh, are here and enjoy with butter or yogurt or cilantro chutney tamarind chutney So see you with my next recipe